Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening, and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Paula Dagnan. Troopers charged a Hazelton woman after learning she left a young boy home alone Tuesday while she went to get the oil changed. State police at Hazelton were in the 1200 block of Route 90, 940 in Hazel Township for an accidental residential alarm sounding just before 11 a.m. That's when they saw the six-year-old outside of 1238 Route 940. They discovered the boy's grandmother, 58-year-old Francesca Rodriguez Francisco, left him home alone. The child said he was hungry and thirsty. When troopers spoke to Rodriguez Francesco over the phone about an hour later, she told them the child's mother was at work and she went to Walmart to get an oil change, leaving the child she was in charge of watching alone. Court papers say she told police the child was watching cartoons and she thought he would be okay. Troopers told her to leave the store and come home. In the meantime, called the boy's mother, who immediately left work and drove to the house. Rodriguez Francisco left the child unsupervised for an unreasonable period of time and was charged with child endangerment. She was released on $10,000 unsecured bail Tuesday afternoon, and Luzerne County Children and Youth was contacted. A wanted Freeland man was apprehended during a traffic stop last Thursday. An officer stopped 56-year-old Philip Flanagan for driving with a false plate at rear 602 Center Street Thursday just after noon. Court paper state Flanagan, who was wanted by state parole, had a small blue bag of a white powder in the car and a bag containing a similar substance in his pocket, which he told police contained meth. Eight packets commonly used to store heroin and a straw were also found in his pocket, which Flanagan said contained fentanyl. Flanagan now faces possession of a controlled substance and use or possession of drug paraphernalia. He was released on $5,000 unsecured bail July 11th. A drums man was arrested after a tropic traffic stop on Interstate 81 South in Dorrance Township June 2nd. State police at Hazleton say they stopped 50-year-old William Everett just before midnight after watching him leave his travel lane multiple times, almost hitting a guide rail, as well as accelerate the pickup truck before abruptly stopping. Everett, who had two prior DUI arrests, appeared intoxicated. He had Colonzepam and Adderall pills in his vehicle along with a bag containing suspected marijuana and another containing a white crystal substance. Everett was charged with three counts each of driving under the influence of a controlled substance and possession of a controlled substance, as well as one count possession of a small amount of marijuana and three summary violations. Charges were filed against him June 26th. He was released on $15,000 unsecured bail. One of the two men who confessed to robbing a Luzerne County bank at gunpoint will spend at least 10 years behind bars. 30-year-old Gerald Pembianco of Plains Township pleaded guilty to charges including armed robbery. Prosecutors say the getaway driver and Derek Spade held up the, and robbed the Luzerne National Bank in Plains Township last year. Investigators say Spade pointed a gun at an employee during the robbery and Pambianco drove the getaway car. The men made off with more than $8,000, then led police on a chase along Interstate 81. Spade was sentenced to 14 years in prison earlier this week. Both men are also awaiting trial on state burglary charges. A Kingston man has been sentenced to more than 15 and a half years in federal prison for trafficking heroin and illegally possessing a handgun as a felon. 29-year-old Brandon Diggs was sentenced in U.S. District Court Tuesday to 188 months in prison, followed by six years probation. Prosecutors said Diggs admitted dealing heroin and possessing a loaded 9mm pistol in Kingston June 9th of last year. Agents raiding his residence found 100 bags of heroin. That case was prosecuted as part of Project Safe Neighborhoods. 
A monument that has stood in Wilkes-Barre's public square for the past 11 years was taken down after a controversy sparked over a brick that featured the KKK. Mayor Tony George announced in a news release that the brick display on public square has been removed. The brick was placed in the monument about three weeks ago under the name of the East Coast Knights Group, which is a local chapter of the KKK. It wasn't long ago that a local political activist tried to remove the brick himself last week before being charged with disorderly conduct. Mayor George said that after careful consideration, he decided now was an appropriate time to remove the entire monument as part of ongoing renovations on Public Square. Coming up on WILN News, no guns in these classrooms, plus it's Camp Cadet Day 4. But first, let's take a look at our seven-day forecast. An excessive heat warning will be in effect through Saturday night. Temperatures in the 90s, heat index values could go into the triple digits. And there will be a break in all the heat by Sunday evening. We'll be right back. Don't make the big box mistake. Shop local and save at Grand Central in Hazleton. Get better prices than the big box store on our huge selection of furniture, mattresses, appliances, and electronics at Grand Central in Hazleton and at the Laurel Mall. Ken Pollock Truck and Performance Center presents the 35th Annual Frontier Days Championship Rodeo in Bolarama and Benton. The rodeo begins tonight through Saturday. Cowboys from all over the East will compete in bareback, bull riding, calf roping, championship rodeo, brock riding, and more. The rodeo runs tonight through Saturday, and Bolarama is on Sunday, July 21st. All shows begin at 7.30 p.m. Vendors, grass, food, and entertainment begin nightly at 5 p.m. Come early and stay late at the Benton Frontier Days Championship Rodeo in Bolarama. Details at BentonRodeo.com. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Don't make the big box mistake. Shop local and save at Grand Central in Hazleton. Get better prices than the big box store on our huge selection of furniture, mattresses, appliances, and electronics at Grand Central in Hazleton and at the Laurel Mall. Crews have started replacing some of the city's 1,400 streetlights that are aging. The lights will be upgraded to new energy-efficient fixtures. The process started Tuesday morning, marking the start of a citywide lighting project that's been in the works since 2013. Crews are taking out old 100-watt mercury vapor lighting fixtures with a 40-watt LED bulb. The city is in the process of changing out 1,600 streetlights. Uh, SmartWatt, the company that we, we contracted with, uh, has begun. The city is broken down into quadrants. We started in the northeast yesterday, and we're moving along rapidly. Uh, the street lights will come at no cost to the city. Uh, the savings from the energy bills will be used to pay the, the funding of the lights. Crews will work 10-hour shifts four days a week. Although the new bulbs will consume less energy, they will be at least as bright as the fixtures they replace. The lights should give the city an overall safer look and feel. Uh, they should be all be uniformed. It's, it's the white light. It's more crisp. It won't be that heavy amber look to it. Um, so everything should fall into place where the uniformity. So it won't be bright in one area and light in another area. Some parts of the city that are lit by 30-year-old fixtures will be brighter at night. When finished, the city will have an accurate inventory of its estimated 1,607 streetlights and will be in a position to address issues where it currently pays for lights that have either burned out or haven't been replaced. Replacement bulbs are covered under a 10-year warranty and have a lifespan of 20 years. 
The borough of Weatherly plans to have its new municipal complex built by February. Contractors were scheduled to sign contracts this morning. Council awarded the contracts June 24th for the complex that will be built on the former Tung Sol site. The new 8,585 square foot complex will house the police station, municipal offices, and Judge Joseph Hamanko's office. The borough also will be using interim financing as part of its grant. Council approved a contract with Jim Thorpe Neighborhood Bank for $1 million at 1.9% interest for the project. Construction scheduled to start as early as next week. The Tamaqua Area School Board officially rescinded a controversial gun policy that would have allowed teachers and staff to carry weapons. The decision to rescind policy 705 comes after Governor Tom Wolf signed a bill that prohibits teaching staff to be armed. The school board did announce that it plans to put together a commission to create a new policy. It would include 12 members made up of first responders, parents, board directors, and faculty members. The board plans to select the group by next month's meeting, and that is scheduled for August 13th. The countdown to cadet graduation is closing in as day four wraps up at Camp Cadet. Our Julia Wiegand was back and has more. Cadets got to spectate a mock crash scene this morning after their run on day four of Camp Cadet at the Penn State Hazleton campus. The scenario involved an intoxicated driver that crashed his vehicle with an unresponsive occupant in the back seat. Cadets watched as state police, local fire crews, and EMS arrived on the scene and got a feel for what really goes down behind those scenes. It's important to show them this mock crash. Um, you know, a lot of times these kids maybe see a crash on the side of the road when they're traveling through, but they don't understand what actually goes into it and how important the jobs of the police, the fire department, the ambulance crew, the EMTs, they got to learn that this morning. They got to see what happens when somebody gets in a crash, when they're under the influence, and then they get arrested. So they saw consequences for somebody's actions. Then they got to see the fire department open the vehicle up uh, using mechanical means to free the injured person inside and the ambulance crew took them away. So it was good for them to see that broken down and see how all moving parts make this work. Cadet Nikos Raypatch has had an amazing time at Camp Cadet so far. Although the morning runs are hard, Raypatch said that once you get past the morning, it's exciting to see all the different moving parts of being an officer. It was pretty fun watching uh, one of the counselors pretend like they were drunk and things like that. And it was pretty cool to see the different people that are, uh, come to the scene when a uh, crash happens, like the, pol the police, the fire department, and the, um, the ambulance and things like that. Here at Camp Cadet, each and every one got to scuba dive last night with the Luzerne County dive team in the campus pool and had a lot of fun doing it. Trooper Anthony Petrowski noted that some were nervous, but after pushing through it, ended up having an awesome time as well. That includes Cadet Jacqueline Ebert, who said it was her favorite part about camp so far. Basically, you have something in your mouth that you just breathe in through your mouth and not through your nose. And if there was this, this button that you would just push to go down and button to go up, and it was just very easy. Graduation tomorrow will be hard, which includes a mile and a half run. But Ray Patch said that as long as cadets push through it, they're going to be just fine. If you could, I would say sign your kids up for this camp because it, it's the best experience. Graduation takes place tomorrow night at 6 p.m. over at Penn State Hazleton's campus. It's a great ceremony and it's a good way to, for these cadets to showcase to their friends and family how hard they worked all week. WYLN will not only be covering Camp Cadet's final daytime endeavors for tomorrow's broadcast, but will also be at graduation tomorrow night to bring you all those highlights come Monday. Reporting in Hazleton for WYLN News, I'm Julia Wiegand. And coming up on Upper Lehigh's News Choice, an upcoming beer and wine fest in Community and You. Plus, travel around the world in 80 minutes with the Hazelton Philharmonic. Stay with us. Do you have a bridal shower, baby shower, birthday party, rehearsal dinner, or other important event coming up? Call us at Booty's Place to book our elegant private upstairs dining room. It offers a seating capacity of up to 50 people, a private bar, and elevator for easy access, where you can book the entire upstairs for an even larger event. Whether you wish to have your event at Booty's Place or want to have it catered, contact us about our delicious options. 570-455-5551. Let us help make your special day a big success. Booty's Place, definitely the best. Pocono Raceway is summertime, where the kids are free, 
where fans become friends. Where good times roll. And the racing is always a little tricky. Bring your friends. Bring your family. Just bring it. Pocono style. New this year, the Great Pocono Raceway Air Show. Tri-County has been keeping your office up to speed since 1969. Everything your office needs. Office supplies, personal and custom business forms, business cards, office furniture, new and used office equipment, copy, print, and scan solutions with wide format capabilities. Leasing is also available. Free off-street parking and free local delivery. Tri-County Business Machines, 117 East Broad Street in Hazleton, 570-459-0754. Family owned and operated since 1969. Welcome to Community New here on WYLN, everyone. I'm Gary Perna. Today I'm with Lisa Marie Halecki from the Hazleton Rotary Club. We are talking about the annual Wine and Beer Festival that will take place on Saturday, August 24th at the Bay Roof Fields in Hazel Township. And this will also be the second year that the car show will be joining them. So we're going to get all this great information. But first, let's talk about the Beer and Wine Festival. This is a great event for the Rotary Club, one of your biggest fundraisers each year. Absolutely. This is the seventh year we're doing wow. it already. I know. And and we're just so happy to be a part of the community. And so many people love these type of events, but always have to travel out of town. And mm -hmm. then, of course, if you just have a couple drinks, you know, little drinks, driving is a, an issue. So this brings it right home. And we're really excited because, yes, we have the car show, which last year was the first year, mm -hmm. and it was just fabulous. Um, of course, the car show is sponsored by Lagana Wealth Advisory Group. And we have a festival sponsor this year who is Wonderful. Neil A. D'Angelo mm -hmm. and the Pines e uh, Eatery. So we're really happy w as, l as well as all of our other wonderful sponsors. But let's get into the meat of it and how fun this event is. Um, of course, we have your own Jeff Nomo. He's mm -hmm. going to be doing the um, ostrich hat. So they're going to be uh, entertaining us. And then we're also going to have cartoon. Uh, we're going to have tons of food mm -hmm. and all different type of craft vendors there. It's just a great day and it's, it's great for a whole family experience. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to be over 21. You do have to be over 21, of course, to drink and you do have to have your identification. And this is really cool because you guys have some of the ticket stuff available. So if you go to uh, hazeltonrotary.ticketleap.com, you can get them on the website. You mm -hmm. can get them from any Rotary member. Absolutely. And they're $20 in advance, $25 at the gate of the event. Uh, there's a $5 designated driver ticket, which I mm -hmm. always thought was really cool because you know, maybe a group of you want to get together and someone's like, oh, okay, I'll be the DD. Well, they could get uh, some food and some of the other stuff that's going on with the entertainment. Um, and of course, they won't be drinking. And of course, anyone under the drinking age, so 20 and below, there's a $5 ticket for them as well. So you can still see the car show and get all that great entertainment, all that fun. Absolutely. Uh, we're doing things a little different, uh, better flow this year for the whole overall experience. So we're excited about that. So if you were there last year or previous years, you had a great time, you're going to have even a better time this year as well. And you can always get um, to know who's there, the, the vendors, uh, everything you're going to see. Uh, is all listed on your website, correct? Correct. We have it on our um, Hazleton Rotary website. We mm -hmm. also have our own um, event page on Facebook. So simple Hazleton Rotary Wine and Beer Festival. Um, you can reach it there. And like you said, you can get mm -hmm. tickets from any one of our Rotarians. Plus we have, if you go on our website, um, it's also going to direct you to different businesses in the area that Wonderful. also are selling the tickets. So, um, you know, any questions anyone has, go to that website and it'll give you a lot of information. So Saturday, August 24th from noon till 630 at the Hazel Township Bay Ruth Fields over on Hazel Township Boulevard, kind of just past Mountain City, uh, but before you get to Community Park. Mm -hmm. It's a great place. Uh, it's huge. So you guys got lots of room to put all this on. Absolutely. The car show will be going on. You're going to have the beer and wine festival going on. Entertainment uh, will be happening all throughout the day. This is a great time to unwind, and you know we're talking about it now. But the twenty fourth of August is kind of like that right wind on. down 
of yeah. summer. So it's kind of like yeah. one of those big hurrahs before we end summer. Absolutely. Tickets are only twenty dollars in advance. So if you get them in advance, twenty dollars at the door. They're twenty-five. Like you said, the five dollar for the designated or the age thirteen to twenty. Mm -hmm. And then our car show participants um, are is ten dollars for them or oh, cool. their occupants over twenty-one. So a lot of a lot of advantages to attending. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wonderful. And of course, it's going to be bright and sunny and a warm day for that. Absolutely. We already decided what the weather is going to be, so no worry about that. And of course, it, this is a great event. All this money raised from this goes right back into the Rotary to help one of the many of the great uh, causes you guys do each and every year. Absolutely. We do so many community projects, and uh, like you said, this money turns around and goes right back into our community projects. And I'm proud to be Rotarian and, and proud to be uh, a part of this committee as well. Wonderful. So this is a great event. Again, August 24th at the Hazel Township Babe Ruth Fields. We'll have much more information uh, throughout the coming weeks here. And we even have some tickets to give away here in WILN News. So you want to pay attention to see when we'll be giving some tickets away. You do not want to miss this great event again in Hazel Township. Lisa Marie, thank you so much for coming on. Thanks for having me, Gary. All right. We'll see you next time here on Community News. Krugel's Georgetown Deli and Beer is more than just a great place to grab six packs to go. You can also enjoy great draft beer, including their exclusive Three Onina Milk Stouts. Take it to go in a crowler or mix and match bottles of your favorite craft beers. Or just cool down with one of their slushies. Check out the Georgetown Pub Fair menu, including their Flight and Bites with your choice of sauces and five ounce draft beers. Stop in and play Kino or other Pennsylvania Lottery games. Don't forget to check out their website and Facebook for tasting events. Krugel's Georgetown Deli and Beer in Wilkesbury Township right next to the Big Cow. It's okay that everybody ignores me when I drive. It's fine, because I get a safe driving bonus check every six months I'm accident free. Because I don't use my cell phone when I'm driving, even though my family does and leaves me all alone. Here's something else. I don't share it with mom. Right, mom? I have a brand new putter you don't even know about. It's awesome. Safe driving bonus checks only from Allstate. Switching to Allstate is worth it. Visit your local Allstate agent, the McNeilis Agency in Hazleton at 1092 North Church Street, or in hometown in the hometown village square. I'm Tiffany Cloud, host of The Storm. A brand new season is blowing in here at WYLN TV 35, starting with an in-depth conversation about crime with our area's top prosecutor, Luzerne County District Attorney Stephanie Salabantis. Be sure to tune in this week and every week for new episodes of The Storm only on WYLN TV 35. There is a new center that opened today in Hazleton. WILN News intern Cameron Gregory has the details. Now thanks to the Children's Service Center and All One Foundation, families in the Hazleton and surrounding areas have a lot less traveling to find support and services for autistic family members. The Autism Collaborative Centers of Excellence Hub, located at the Children's Service Center, is providing a full array of services and supports for individuals with ASD. Well, we're excited about being here, um, it, and it's certainly going to serve the, the Hazleton community, but also the 13 county area, so people could come to us from all over the place for support to see what's out there, what services are available to them. Um, it's kind of a one-stop shop for them. Uh, a lot of times families, when they get that initial diagnosis, it's a, oh no, you know, now what? And now they'll have a place to go to. Or people that have had a child uh, on the spectrum, or even a young adult on the spectrum, um, may not know what's out there, what's available to them. This, our job is to network them and show them the different opportunities that they'll have available to them. Funding the ACCE Hub is the All One Foundation, along with numerous healthcare, education, and philanthropic entities. We've made the largest single financial commitment to a health care problem in the history of Northeastern Pennsylvania, We've committed $7 million to the autism issue. And it's based on collaboration, collaborating with other foundations so that we can pool our resources, and collaborating with the greatest charities in Northeastern Pennsylvania so that we could deliver the very best in services. And that's why we're very proud to be here with the Children's Service Center and Mike Hopkins, and especially proud of being in the southern part of Luzerne County, Hazleton, where we can provide this special service. Senior Service Navigator of the Hub, Sandra Kirshner, gave us the details of specific services they provide. Right now, the services we have available are peer support and assistance accessing services. So we have service navigators that are in the center 
every day staffed um, that you, parents can call or come in and just get help. We kind of think of ourselves as the Google of autism, except we do the Googling <laughs> so that you don't have to, because having a child with autism is a full-time job, two full-time jobs. So you don't have the time to be looking for services, for looking for speech therapy, just all of the things that children with autism need. So you call us, we do the searching for you, put you directly in touch with people. That way you don't have to waste that time when you could be spending it with your child. The future of the hub is positive and they're looking to network and collaborate with more agencies throughout the Hazleton area. This is just the beginning. That's the that's the what I want to add. Our next step is to really partner with agencies in the Hazelton area. Anyone who sees this who wants to partner with us, there's just a lack of services. There's a lack of accessibility for individuals with autism in Hazelton. So our next goal is to look at how do we cast a net over Hazleton and create an autism network so that parents and children aren't falling through the cracks, so that everyone is getting what they need. So that's our really our next step. So stop by 20 North Laurel Street and see it for yourself. More information on the ACCE can be found at www.alloneforautism.org. Reporting in Hazleton for WILN News, I'm Cameron Gregory. This Sunday, the Hazleton Philharmonic Symphony Orchestra will present a concert entitled Around the World in 80 Minutes. The concert taking place at the Alice C. Wiltsey Center inside for the Hazleton Elementary School at 9th and Wyoming Streets. Tickets will be available at the door. They're $10 for adults, $5 for children under 12 years of age. Those in attendance will be entered in to win one of the several prizes that will be raffled off during this show. Again, that is this Sunday, 2 o'clock, the Hazelton Philharmonic Society Orchestra presenting Around the World in 80 Minutes. And that's the news. Remember, you can get news updates on our WILN News Facebook page. Stay with us. A look at today's weather is next here on WILN-TV. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Having an intimate gathering and don't want to wrestle in the kitchen? Call Whitetail and ask about their food to go catering menu. They'll do the cooking, you relax and entertain your guests. Call Mike at 570-535-6123. WYLN CA 35's children's programming is designed with the specific purpose of serving the educational and informational needs of children. In compliance with FCC guidelines, a copy of the children's programming report is on file for public inspection at WYLN 1057 East 10th Street in Hazleton, Pennsylvania during normal business hours. To view the report online, visit FCC.org. 